subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to another edition of Scientifics where we bring you the top science stories of the week from across the globe. This week in space, scientists have found that the lunar surface is more metal rich than previously thought. A finding that challenges our understanding of how the moon was formed. The popular hypothesis around the formation of the moon suggests that about 4.5 billion years ago, a mass-sized body named Theia collided with the Earth's upper crust. The collision shot a large portion of the Earth's upper crust, which is poor in metals, into orbit, eventually forming the moon. However, a new study which sheds light on the composition of the dust found at the bottom of the moon's craters showed that the moon's subsurface may be richer in iron and titanium oxides than scientists had believed. Back on Earth, scientists have identified a new species of ichthyosaurs, a group of marine reptiles that inhabited the Earth's seas between 250 to 65 million years ago. The species, named Hophiotarix altera, was identified by studying a specimen preserved in a museum in Germany. Following a meticulous study of all specimens related to Hophiotarix typicus, a small 2 meter long species, it was revealed that a single specimen in Germany was in fact different. Similar to the modern-day dolphin, ichthyosaurs underwent profound adaptations to the aquatic environments, including limbs transformed into flippers, a dorsal fin, and a tail fin. Also this week, scientists have found that up to 60% of all fish species may be forced to leave their traditional spawning areas due to rising temperatures caused by the climate crisis. Fish that are ready to mate and their young are sensitive to changes in temperatures. A new study shows that risks for fish are much higher than previously assumed since they are especially sensitive to rising water temperatures in certain developmental phases. According to the study published in the journal Science, climate change and rising water temperatures will negatively affect the reproduction of up to 60% of all fish species. Meanwhile, white-throated sparrows in Canada seem to have changed their tune over the span of the last few decades, scientists have found. In the 1960s, white-throated sparrows across Canada whistled a song that ended in a repeated three-note triplet. By the late 1990s, the birds had begun to sing a new two-note ending. Scientists have tracked how this two-note ending became viral across Canada, travelling over 3,000 kilometres between 2000 to 2019 and wiping out a historic song ending in the process. Although some bird species change their songs over time, these cultural evolutions tend to stay in local populations, becoming regional dialects rather than the norm for the species. However, over the course of 40 years, songs ending in two notes among the rare sparrows became universal west of the Rocky Mountains. This is Mohana Basu for The Print. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates.